The College of Engineering at the University of Nebraska is a great place for students in engineering because students have exposure to state-of-the-art in the latest science and technology. The origins of the multi-site classroom really stems from the fact that we have one college in two geographic locations, one in Lincoln and one in Omaha. And the challenge is how do you bridge that community so that everybody feels like they're at the epicenter of the learning experience. The New View Classroom is actually a concept that we came up with to create a system that allows for more interactive distance learning. We have cameras set up on the sidewalls. We want the students to feel they're in the classroom with each other. So when the students in any of the uh, multi-site uh, locations are actually looking at the front of the room, they see exactly what the students do in the local classroom. It becomes a virtual environment that the students actually feel like they're immersed in one whole classroom together. This technology can be bridged across the country, it can be bridged internationally, so students will have an opportunity to interface with students in other parts of the world and work on projects and learn together. The UNL is a great place to study engineering because you get the SEMBAT program, which is very helpful to apply what you've learned in class. In the SEMBAT program, each freshman gets a robot, they assemble it themselves, they use it all four years. Each year we add more projects, use more of what we learn in class to kind of incorporate that with hardware and software. The purpose of the SEMBAT is to inspire our students, maintain stimulation, curiosity, and commitment to the program. In 2007, we began the use of the TechBot, um, which is from Oregon State University. And in 2009, several of my students approached me and said, although we love the TechBot, we feel we can do a better job. The students developed this in the course of one summer's work. Everything, the mechanical systems, the uh, electrical systems, new circuit boards, uh, uses fewer components, has greater capabilities, uses a lot less power, it's green, so it has a number of added features. The next step in the evolution is the engineering notebook. So what our students will do in their freshman years, they will build their scene bot when they arrive, but at the end of the semester, what they will do is they will take the wheels and the motors off and they will put it into this three ring binder and this three ring binder now becomes their engineering notebook for ongoing classes. This will give students an opportunity to really explore many, many other fields besides robotics. Now they can do their laboratories in the comfort of their dorms. We're looking forward to see how this morphs and inspires our students. The Engineering Learning Community Trip is an annual trip offered to our students. It gives them a chance to go to a specific location, usually over spring break, and visit a number of major companies. They get to tour the facilities, they get to meet with engineers, they get to network and have an opportunity to create potential job contacts for the future. These trips are funded with sponsorship from our Alumni Advisory Board. These are very, very committed alumni who are very passionate about giving our students educational career experiences. This program is very important to new engineering students because oftentimes this is their first look at what real professionals do. The students have gotten to visit and tour the Apache Helicopter Assembly Plant, which was awesome. In addition to that, they got to tour NASA and a tour personally led by astronaut Clayton Anderson. I think it's really difficult for students these days who spend a lot of time learning calculus and where does calculus fit in with NASA? And this has really been the opportunity to say, okay, here's the point. Here's where calculus meets NASA and where I really need to learn and stay engaged with these items. I signed up for a learning community trip because I like to travel. I like to see my options for when I get out of school. So that gave me the best of both worlds. I had the opportunity to see some companies in different states. I really feel like I benefited from these trips through being able to mingle with people that have graduated from the University of Nebraska engineering system and have done things with their life that I'm interested in. My personal experience is that in addition to getting a chance to network with the students, 
I've gotten a chance to network with other professionals and other fine University of Nebraska graduates in order to bring multiple generations together and really have an opportunity where we can learn from each other.